Planning and estimation are vital to any well-running Scrum process. Most Scrum teams use story points. Okay, so how do story points work? Well, people are not very good at exact estimation. Imagine for a second that I would ask you how much this apple weighs. Now, you probably guess a number that's too high or too low, but you won't get it exactly right. But if I ask you what is heavier, an apple or a pineapple, you won't have a problem guessing that the pineapple is the heaviest, I hope. This last method is called relative estimation. Scrum teams use the same principle. How? Well, to get started, have a look at your backlog. Try and find the smallest user story. Let's go ahead and take this story and assign it one story point. Now look at the next user story. Is it two times as complex as the first one? Three times? More? By comparing it to the first story, we can determine the number of story points for this user story without relying on estimations in hours. Most teams use planning poker to estimate stories as a group. First, someone explains the story and answers any questions from the team members. Afterwards, after counting to three, each team member will show their estimation all at the same time. You can use your hands, an app, or specialized cards. If the estimates differ too much, the people with the highest and lowest numbers will explain their reasoning. Big differences in estimation can be caused by different assumptions or differences in knowledge. Either way, getting these kinds of things out in the open benefits the team and increases understanding. If needed, the team can estimate again afterwards. Now, if we count how many points of done stories we have after each sprint, we can track the velocity of the team. Velocity gives us an indication of how many story points we can plan in each sprint. This is how to use story points. Story points provide us with a fast, lightweight way to get estimates that actually works. So give it a go to see if it helps you.